I'm Jim Dean Moore with JDM Engineering. You're here at our shop in Field, New Jersey today, where I'm going to go over a summary of uh, an installation we did on an Edelbrock E4 supercharger on my Mustang this week. Uh, Rob Simons from Edelbrock sent us out the supercharger for some testing. Uh, we got the kit here. It was packed very nice and neatly. Everything came through safe and sound in shipping. Uh, we received the supercharger uh, as their competition kit. This kit comes with smaller supercharger pulleys and a bigger cold air induction system and bigger 60 pound per hour injectors. Uh, we bought this, or we went with this kit uh, mainly because my car has a built engine in it, a 298 stroker motor with 9 to 1 com compression ratio, ported heads and cams. Um, so we got this kit, we paired it along with a GT500 fuel system and some custom tuning that we performed here. Installed it this week, everything went really smooth, uh, we were really happy with the kit, uh, we were able to get some tuning done on the street, um, and after that, you know, we broke the motor in, put about 40, 50 miles on it, and strapped it on the dyno. Just this past weekend, we headed up to the Meadowlands Convention Center uh, to meet up with the guys from Keystone Automotive who are hosting their annual big show uh, up in Secaucus, New Jersey. It was a really great time. We debuted, well, we didn't debut, but we displayed our Billy Glidden Outlaw Mustang. Uh, Bill and his father, Bob, both showed up and did an autograph signing at the booth, which was really cool. Um, we also got to meet up with the guys at Edelbrock, talked to them a little bit about my supercharger, uh, even got to meet Vic Edelbrock in person, it was really cool, awesome guy, um, and we're really glad to be working with them on their supercharger system. I tell you, the, the engineer on this, this deal here, Rob Simons, uh, I've known him for a few years, and he's, he's, uh, he's quite the engineer, let's put it that way. The guy's got very good talent, and not only top of that, with, uh, with the capabilities of Edelbrock behind him, and their own casting foundry. It's, it's a phenomenal package they came up with. The TVS rotor pack inside is just, you're not gonna find nothing better than that. I mean, they came up with the whole, the whole package. It's, it's a very good solid for the, for the average buyer with their Mustang that's gonna get a, a wonderful deal with it. And when we, and when we uh, hired Bob, came in, uh, Cracker Jack guy, you're right. And uh, he started with a clean piece of paper first of all last year. And we, we did things that we knew were there, but we'd have never thought about doing it on this. And that's, you know, making your, once you do your plans, once you do your model with the SLA parts and stuff, and know that everything's going to fit, then, then we went and had castings made off of that. And, and, uh, and then in the same time, we had those castings we were chained, we started the patterns because we knew everything fit. And we did all our testing while the patterns were being made. So when that all came out, we had already been on the dyno, we would already been on the car. And we all already knew what we had. So uh, we were very fortunate to do that and introduce it at the same show in, in November. And, uh, and away we went. So over on the dyno with my father doing all the tuning on his SCT software, we ended up performing the street tune first. Uh, the car ended up making 560 rear wheel horsepower on 12 pounds of boost from my everyday 93 octane tune. Now this is really impressive compared to most of the other superchargers we've seen out there on the market. One other real important thing that we found out with the Edelbrock supercharger is its extremely low air intake temperatures. We noticed that the highest air charge temperature we could receive on the dyno was just under 105 degrees. Now normally we see temperatures upwards of 120 or 130 plus. Uh, now this air charge difference is going to mean more horsepower, especially over a prolonged period of time for daily driving on the street. That's where most everybody is going to notice this. My father was also able to figure out some of the transitions that he had to make for the new Edelbrock throttle body. This new single blade throttle body provides a lot more airflow and made a lot of changes in the tuning. The car is super responsive with that single blade throttle body on it. Uh, driving it on the street through first, second and third gear or the roasted tires, it, it's a lot of fun. You got to be careful with the car. Um, after we were able to finish the throttle body, uh, everything was perfect for the tune, so we decided to swap pulleys, add a little bit more boost, put some race gas in the tank, and see what it should make on the horsepower for a, a race tune. So what you can see here is uh, we made 633 horsepower on the race tune with 571 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, this was done on just about an average of 15 pounds of boost. Um, you can see these horsepower readings are in SAE standard number, SAE numbers. Um, over here on my run file, you see this is uh, Jim 3's supercharged setup. I used to have my naturally aspirated car, so we made a new separate file not to get those two confused. Uh, we're going to head out to Englishtown and hopefully get some testing in this week. 
Um, it looks like the car's definitely got 10 second capabilities. With the 373 gear ratio, that might be the only thing holding us back. Uh, usually we go with like a 410 or a 430 gear ratio. I also put a stock torque converter back in my car, so it's not going to launch quite as hard. Um, however, with this much horsepower, it should be capable of mid-10s at almost 130 miles an hour. I'm really excited to get behind the wheel of that. That'll be pretty much the fastest I've ever been in my car. So uh, this should be exciting. Uh, we're also going to head out to the NMRA Bradenton race where I should bring the car out there as well. Um, we'll have the car uh, all across the country this year with the NMR Racing Series, so be sure to stop at one of the events and check it out. Uh, you can see what kind of times we'll be running throughout the season. Also checking out our website at teamjdm.com or uh, any of the Mustang forums that I frequent on like modular Fords or S197 forums. Uh, if you have any questions about this Edelbrock Supercharger Kit that we just installed in my car here this week, uh, you can call me, Jim Jr., anytime at 732-780-0770 or get me on my email at tech at teamjdm.com. Uh, this kit was really nice. We were really glad to install it. Uh, it made some awesome horsepower. And if you two want to have a setup just like this, we can make it happen for you. Uh, Team, JDM, Team JDM and Edelbrock are there for you, so just give us a call anytime.